بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm in total awe of God's power in answering our prayer. Today, I'll talk to you about the power of prayer. As God said, call me and I will respond to you in Surah Ghafir, chapter 40, verse 60. And since we are in the blessed month of Ramadan, I thought of inspiring you by telling you this real life experience that happened to me in year 2000 during my third visit to Iraq to finish the making of the documentary film to help the Iraqi children after the war. I had to attend various conferences as awareness campaign. It was imposed on all expatriates who wanted to obtain a visa to go to Iraq. These conferences were about Iraq's condition during the UN imposed sanctions. And since I had to finish filming my documentary, I accepted and went. When we arrived to Iraq as a group of Iraqi expatriates from all around the world, we were constantly surrounded by men with foreign ministry official badges They were our shadows who accompanied us everywhere. I knew that was a cover-up for istikhbarat or spies for Saddam's regime. Their presence neither bothered me nor intimidated me in any way. Positions and authorities never intimidated me. I had no fear in life except to go against God's will. I joked with those spies, saying to them, are you going to write a lengthy report to your superiors about us tonight? Then I challenged them by saying, but my connection is much higher than yours. And they understood my comment according to their own materialistic view, which was focused on the physical world by having connections with higher officials. And I let them be. Obviously, they were not thinking spiritually at all. On that day, they came by bus to pick us up from where we were staying at the hotel to another hotel where the conference was going to be held. It was a short ride. One of the men challenged me about the existence of God. When we were discussing to whom loyalty is due, to the bath party or to an invisible God. I said, if you have faith in God's power, you will fear none other. And I went on talking about God. After a while, they started complaining about the weather and the terrible sandstorm we were having. The sandstorm was so heavy and bad that we couldn't breathe. I remember feeling the sand grinding between my teeth. I asked, why don't you ask God for some rain? And they laughed and started mocking me by saying, rain now in April? Then they started to shout to each other from the back of the bus to the front to ridicule my remark and tease me to make the whole bus laugh at me. At that moment, I made a heartfelt prayer and asked God, please give them a sign with your mercy and let it rain. Then I turned to the guy who was ridiculing me and said, I hope it will rain so much on you that you will get soaking wet. But he went on laughing even more. And by God's grace and power, the miracle did happen only minutes later. I saw little drops of rain falling on the big windshield of the bus. It mesmerized me. And I was in total awe of God's power in answering our prayers. 
I began to praise Allah, delighted to be in that state of high spirits. While it made Saddam's officials even more arrogant in their insults and mockery, saying to me, you call this rain? Look at it. It is just few drops. But I had my eyes closed in a trance-like state, directing all my energy and vibe towards Allah. Repeating the praises of Allah, saying, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Then it happened. The drops started increasing in their tick by tick. And then tick, 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 tick. Then all of a sudden, it was a holy shower. The rain came down pouring like a tropical rain. And at that exact moment of heavy rain, we arrived to our destination. And the guy who challenged me was standing at the steps of the bus. As he was the one assigned to lead the group into the hotel. By coincidence, maybe. The bus door opened and his colleagues jokingly pushed him out of the door into the rain. Then they asked the bus driver to immediately shut the door behind him, keeping him out in the rain. The young man had no choice but to run to the entrance of the hotel for shelter. But because it was a long distance from the bus stop to the entrance of the hotel, he got soaking wet, just as I wished he would. Subhanallah. Meanwhile, the rest of us remained on the bus for a few more minutes until the rain stopped and no one got wet except him. Later, when I saw him in the hotel lobby, he looked like a wet mouse. He said, I believe, I believe. Come on now, pray for me not to get sick from these wet clothes. And I said, I'm glad you believe. Now you can pray for yourself. There is a deeper and more profound metaphorical meaning of why there is so much mention of rain in the Quran. Just as God sends down rain to the earth from the sky, he also sends down divine revelations. The analogy of rain in the Quran is just like rain can soften dead earth, the Qur'an can soften dead hearts. Subhanallah. Offering prayers for rain, Salat al-Istisqa, is a confirmed sunnah proven by the practice of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the practice of the early generations of Islam. And at the time when I was praying for rain that day, I had no idea of the sunnah. I was just asking God and God answered my prayer. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.